In this video, I'm going to show how to create a production order in Business Central. Normally, a production order could be created in two different ways, either manually or from the planning worksheet after calculating an MRP plan. So first, I'll show how to create the production order from the MRP plan. So I'll enter my planning worksheet, and in this case, assume that somebody run the plan. And here I have my item that I like to process. This is a production item that says in the plan out here, production item. And I can just click accept action messages and then carry out action messages and make sure that the production order is set to some action here, in this case to create a firm plan production order. This will create the production order and remove the line from my planning worksheet. And I can now find my firm plan production order in the firm plan production order list. And it's down here. So I just made this production order automatically from the planning worksheet and it was created by the calculation algorithm. On this production order, which is now firm planned, I can enter my line and on the line I can see the components, meaning the material requirements that are necessary for this order that I have to go and pick on inventory. And I can change it here manually if I want to, select some other items. I can also on my line see my routing, if a routing is defined for the item. A routing is the processes I need to perform to make this order. And I can also change the routing here. I can also from the process tab uh, print job card and material requisition that responds to the same two tables, meaning material requisition is the list of the components that I need to go and pick on the inventory. And this is typically a document for the warehouse employee. And I could also print my job card, which is documents for the production people. And that will be one page for each operation. So in this case, I have five pages because it's five different operation, ones for each uh, step in the process. When I want to post on the production order, I need to release it first. So I need to change status. So the production order has different statuses. And now I will change status to released and it will transfer this firm plan production order to a new release production order. So now I made a release production order. I could also have made the production order manually just by clicking new, either from the firm plan production order list or the release production order list. And I choose the source type item and I select the number I'm going to produce, the item number and the amount. And from the process tab, I will select refresh and that will calculate the production order lines. Here we are. So this is actually calculating the routing line and the component line that was showed before. And this is the same as the automatically calculated production order before. And again, I can change status in this one and release the production order so it's ready to actually go into production. So now I've made two different release production orders from firm planned orders, one manually, one from the worksheet. And if I enter my release production order list, I can see the two release production order. And normally I would print the documents from a released production order. That would be the most common to do.